I have a super video for you today, and I have a new homebrew for the Super Nintendo Super Blockum Sockum, and this is in conjunction with Second Dimension, as well as Alec Mall Studio was a programmer, and super excited to be sharing this new version, and it's gonna debut at the upcoming Portland Retro Gaming Expo and be offered in very small batches at expos in person. I love doing homebrew games and working with other people offering these independent releases and a Super Nintendo game complete with protective case for a budget price of 40 bucks. And I thought I'd share some gameplay footage, show you the game, sit back, relax, here we go. So awesome to offer a physical release at an affordable price. And here it is. And it comes with a protective cover as Super Nintendo boxes can get beat up pretty fast. And Second Dimension did all the packaging and manual design, pretty awesome. There's a sticker on it uh, just to tell people, hey, this is a Super Nintendo game. So this is fresh out of the box. First one assembled. And here you go, it's pretty awesome. And uh, Alec Mall Studio was again the programmer for this release. And Sergio Elizondo is the musician and it is Super Blockum Sockum. It isn't on the box or the manual, but in the title. And so uh, it's kind of the fun, the fun unofficial name, I guess you could say is Super Blockum Sockum as it is a Super Nintendo game. I use a letter opener to open up boxes. You can use a flathead screwdriver. A uh, lot of different ways just to be careful to uh, keep your boxes in good condition and thought I'd show you what it includes. So here's the cartridge, I'm gonna show that. Uh, pretty awesome job, by the way. Adam of Second Dimension put these together for me. Thank you so much. And here's the tray. I do believe original release versus late release uh, tray. Really nice label. And as you can see here, um, pretty good quality, nice label quality there. And there is the top version. And, and as you can see on the case itself, the, the shells have the Second Dimension logo. Thought that was a nice touch. And uh, yeah, so there it is. There it is, comes with a simple manual. Has to come with a manual, right, to be complete. And got these printed locally. Simple game, 25 levels and you can press L and R to restart a level and your score will go back to zero. There's no save. Uh, you can just, this is kind of a sit down and play, uh, play through in a single session. Let's check it out. So there you go, Second Dimension. You can check out his website out where he offers lots of different uh, games for classic consoles. Love the music, Sergio did an awesome job. In this version versus the Genesis, you have the options to turn off the music, sound effects, title start, and it also includes voice samples of mine. That's why it's super. Anyways, I thought it was pretty fun, pretty fun. Alec Mall Studio did a good job putting this together. Several tweaks along the way, has uh, a little bit better color palette then the Genesis as, you know, uh, the Super Nintendo was much more capable. So yeah, it's got some voice samples in this, uh, the score and all the information's at the top of the screen, a little different than the Genesis version and Jaguar version, which I'm gonna show in this video later. Uh, there's a penalty, uh, penalty for toss, and so if you haven't played this before, you have so many tosses to get down to the goal to then advance to the next level. I'm just gonna show a couple of the levels here, just gonna the, figure out the how to play this. So it's matching colors together, and the color in your hand will uh, show you what color to match with the corresponding boxes. Pretty awesome. When you get a star box, that's kind of like you can choose whatever color is on the board still. Let's go. And uh, I like the voice samples as well. That was fun. Nice touch. Just a fun little game. Really nice music. Has that kind of classic Super Nintendo feel and look. And, you know, I'm a big 16-bit fan. And so seeing this in person and playing it, it's just, 
it's awesome. I, I love puzzle games. I, I find myself uh, being drawn to more and more puzzle games. But yeah, each level has its own challenge and you have limited tosses and your goal is to get uh, the remaining boxes down to the goal. So it's typically four and there's a keep score. There is 25 levels and I, I just thought I'd offer a fun little puzzle game. And you know, there's not a lot of Super Nintendo physical homebrew being released. And so I thought it'd be kind of nice to offer something. And now I'm gonna be comparing it to the Sega Genesis. So here we go. And I wanna show it. The Sega Genesis was the first release of these. Um, I plan to do some other ports as well. Uh, with the uh, with the programming of the Sega Genesis version, there wasn't an option to turn off sound or sound effects. So I really wanted that in the Super Nintendo version. I consider it, you know, the 1.1 or 1.2 version of the game. And so, yeah, um, as you can see, uh, the Genesis one, it looks close. So whatever, the, whatever you're a Sega Genesis fan or a Super Nintendo, I think uh, either release, both are 40 bucks. I will have a limited amount of the Sega Genesis ones left at uh, upcoming shows. Um, I'm kind of down on stock, but mostly <clears throat> mostly offering the Super Nintendo one and its debut at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Pretty fun. And any shows that I attend, I'll, I'll try to have some copies on uh, on hand. And so, yeah, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, whether you're a fan or either one, or the Atari Jaguar, which is a free download. I did a video on it and uh, working with... Uh, several other people reboot uh, doing the programming amazing job and i'll have some physical cart releases of the jaguar at portland retro gaming expo very small batch of cart only releases it was done at cost and it is a free download and you can play it on the emulator uh big p i'm also going to be offering my super nintendo version of block em sock em on my usb digital download uh, packs game packs that i'm offering at expos as well the next expo after portland retro gaming expo is torg in columbus ohio and really excited about attending that for the second time and i'll have physical copies of the super nintendo and sega genesis on hand hopefully uh and hope to see you soon at an expo well there it is what do you think and this is awesome and i can't wait to look at possibly porting this to the nes as well as some other platforms and television is planned as well as 7800 those are next year and it's been awesome to offer a family friendly puzzle game and look to do little differences between each of the releases so what do you think and as always, thank you for watching this video. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the immortal John Hancock, and you take care.